What's up, creators? Are you trying to make a awesome transition into your next scene? And you're only getting it, you're making it look like this. And it doesn't quite get over because it's an MP4 file and you're trying to figure out how to make it transition into a nice, smooth, uh, cool looking, just transition. And stay tuned, we're about to get it. What's up, guys? Prometheus here. We're going to go ahead and get started on this. Uh, transition that we're trying to achieve for our video um basically what you want to do is to start out um i'm just going to show you guys real quick on a clip that i'm editing um we're going to go ahead and just go ahead and drag our uh intro right into the timeline and we're just going to always a good idea to right click and transform it fit to frame make sure it fits the frame we're going to take our main clip uh, for uh, for for me, it's going to be this zombie um, black ops thing I recorded. I'm going to right click and fit the frame as well. Okay, that step's done. So now what we're going to do, guys, is um, we have our matte transition already into the media bin. Uh, I found this one. This one's in nerdordie.com. I'll leave the description down below. Um, this was a premium package that I bought. It was only like six dollars, uh, so pretty good. They also Nerd Eye also does like overlays and uh, for streamers and YouTubers, they have uh, like overlays, panels, um, just a bunch of stuff. Um, so they're pretty. It's a pretty good uh, website, and uh, they have name your own price stuff. But anyways, let's go ahead and we're gonna click and drag this uh, matte transition that we wish to accomplish because it's mp4 and not a uh .mov file if we had an mov file we could easily just use it but we're just this is just going to be for the mp4 file we're trying to achieve click it and drag it into a composite shot uh we're going to go to options right here in our tab here and we're going to click the checkerboard uh background okay from here what we're going to do is go to our effects tab and we're going to search for demult effect uh, right there. We go bingo. I'm going to click and drag it onto the matte transition. As you can see, it is checkerboard out now. So that's good. Exactly what we want. Now what we're going to do is go back to our uh, timeline. We're going to take our main clip here. In my case, it's going to be the zombie map I recorded. Uh, we're going to right click and make a composite shot. And then we're going to leave all this alone. And I'm going to click OK. Okay, boom, we're right there. So now what we need to do is we're, we're almost set. We're, we're almost there. Um, we're going to take our composite shot that we made for the matte transition. I'm going to click it and drag it into the composite shot that we just did for the our main clip. Okay, so it's right underneath here. We're going to zoom in the timeline so we can see. Boom, there we go. And then what we need to do is um, go to the effects tab and search for set matte effect. And right here, click and drag it on top of the main clip. Boom. And you can either change it right here or you can go to the controls tab. I'm going to use the controls tab here in matte transitions. And then we also, you notice how we just apply that uh, layer that goes blank. That's because we didn't uh, click the checkerboard onto the options tab here. Boom. Checkerboard is clicked. And now we can just play it and see how it looks. Boom, there we go. Um, so now if you notice that towards the end when it leaves, okay. it goes blank again. So we're just gonna go to key, go to the last frame right there. And then we're gonna take our slicing tool and we're gonna slice right at the end and then uh, get our pointer back. And then this clip that it made the other end of it, we're just gonna click this drop down. Go to the effects tab and uncheck the set mat. So it should be right now, it should be looking like this. What's up guys, Prometheus here. What and boom, it's flawless, seamless there. So now what we can just do is we go back to our, let's go to click on the media tab, go back to our timeline. And uh, so basically we need to uh, click and hold your left click button I mean, on the mouse and up move it up and then we're going to kind of overlap it onto the intro video 
so it kind of has a better effect of the uh, transition so we're going to play it and see how that looks now it may be some tweaking and of course it's all preference and stuff but we're going to see how that looks right there and go boom so okay that looked pretty good um was awesome there that looks awesome you could also do um we're going to be doing something later towards the end for the outro you can either do the same but check out nerdordie.com or you could google some free uh matte transitions to make your other stuff you can either i don't know sometimes i do the same uh transitions and the one whole clip you know I normally don't mess with too much because uh, I'm just doing video games. Uh, for this situation, I would just do the intro and then a transition for the outro. But you may be doing different stuff like uh, tutorials will may, may need different transitions and stuff like that. Guys, I hope you like this button, uh, this video. Don't forget to click the subscribe button for uh, more content. And uh, I also have a uh, stream on Twitch Monday through Friday-ish, uh, 7 p.m. Eastern Time. Uh, check me out. Uh, Appreciate it and have a good day guys.